We are counting down to the June 7th primary election. L.A. County now distributing mail-in ballots. And Dean Logan from the L.A. County Registrar's Office is here to break down what you need to know over the next few weeks. Good morning, Dean. Good morning. Nice to be with you. Of course. Thank you for waking up early with us. So when should most voters receive their ballots and how can they track their ballots if they don't get them? Yeah, so we started mailing ballots on Friday of last week. Uh, there are 5.8 million registered voters in LA County, so that takes a few days to get those all to the uh, post office and out in the community. So they continued mailing over the weekend and the, the final drop is today. So uh, voters should be receiving those in the mail um, this week. If they don't receive them by the end of the week, that would be the, the trigger point to kind of reach out to us and let us know uh, so we can track that. Voters can track their own ballot uh, through what's called the, the ballot track system available at the, the California Secretary of State's website, also on our website at lavote.gov. That actually allows you to get the, uh, the email and the text messages that you mentioned earlier um, to let you know that the ballot's on the way to you, and then even after you vote, to let you know that we received that ballot and then it's been counted. Yeah, in this election, you know, the vote by mail makes it easier for so many people to vote. Uh, talk about the hundreds of drop-off locations that are available in the L.A. County area. Yeah, that's the great thing about vote by mail is it does give you that ability to take the time with your ballot and you have multiple choices for how to return that. You can return it back through the mail. There's no postage required on that as long as it's postmarked by election day. But we also have 400 drop boxes located throughout the county. Your vote by mail packet will list the six that are closest to you, but you can go anywhere in the county, drop that ballot off. We check those ballot boxes daily. Um, they're a secure way to return your ballot. It gets it back to us fast so that we can process it and make sure your votes count. And Dean, when are those opening up? And are there any pandemic protocols we need to follow? Do we need to be masked up? Because I've been to one in West Hollywood and it's outside, you just drop it off like a mailbox. Yeah, the 400 drop boxes are all external. They're bolted down, they're secure, uh, they're open now. So as soon as you get that ballot, you can you can vote it and, and get it into one of those boxes. Our in-person voting options, so we know that some voters just uh, still prefer or, or need the services of an in-person voting site, those begin to open on May 28th. Um, we are encouraging people to wear masks just to be uh, particularly careful and safe, but no specific um, uh, protocols for COVID in this particular election. Yeah, and you know, talking a little bit about the online statements from the candidates on the ballot, what can people do to access more information before they actually vote by mail or actually go to one of the voting centers? Yeah, we're excited about that this this election. The, the sample ballot book that you receive in the mail often re has candidate statements in it. In this election, though, we for county positions, so county supervisor, assessor, and sheriff, uh, we are also offering online candidate statements that are available on our website at lavote.gov. Uh, we hope to expand that in the future, but it is a great way for voters to get um, access to information about the candidates while they're marking their ballot. Okay, Dean, lavote.gov. We'll put that on our website, cbsla.com. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And for more information, just go to cbsla.com and click Scene on TV.